Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto content. And today we are going to be talking about Hedera Hashgraph and some, you know, some exciting news that happened recently. I actually just got done drinking a cup of coffee at almost 2.15 a.m. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell in the last video, but I'm absolutely killed from today's workout. Uh, I told you guys, you know, I'm I try to get as much sleep as possible. Um I typically get about 8 hours of sleep, but it is what it is. Um not feeling that great, but <laughs> hey, that's life. So, let's actually look into what's happening behind the scenes. So, first off, the market is still kind of doing its thing. Uh I'm not going to complain. It's going to probably do this thing for quite a little bit of time. So, we're going to probably trade in this sideways movement for a little bit of time. Now, uh, exciting things, uh, Hedera Hashgraph is moving up in the ranks, sitting at number 48 above the graph. Uh, we've moved significantly. We were just at 56 just, uh, I think it was like three, four days ago. Uh, so we are making moves. Uh, things are looking good. So, um, yeah, I mean, HBAR is going to continue to stay here for a little bit of time. Uh, I do suspect that at some point in time, once we finally get some strong movement in the market to the point where... You know, for example, Bitcoin starts ranging and ranging and ranging. I think that's where we will see uh, Hedera Hashgraph moving up and up and up all the way up into the top 25 and potentially the top 10. Uh, you know, I, I do think that it will rally Dogecoin's market cap this year. And I do think that it will range even higher. So uh, that's just my personal opinion on it. Now, let's jump into some juiciness that's been happening recently with some innovation with it and pretty much see what's happening overall. So with that being said, um, if you guys are enjoying the HBAR content, don't forget to leave a like. Also, comment down below how you guys are feeling about the current prices and also with HBAR. Let me know if you guys are buying or not. So. Uh, recently, there's been some news about Miko. Uh, they're they're talking about FPOS and also Hedera and case studies and stuff. So there is a meeting going on this Wednesday or a conference or whatever, um, and that is going to be happening this Wednesday. Now I don't know if this is actually going live now or not. I don't think it is. Let me actually click this just to confirm. Um, so yeah, Wednesday, July 21st, uh, 2 p.m. CEST. Now you guys could, it, it's free participation. I would definitely join in on this and, you know, pretty much listen in uh, because this could actually be big. They, I, they've been talking about this for quite some time now um, and they're going to be talking about the tokenization of everything, literally everything. And I, I, I've been talking about this. I've been talking about digital tokenization. Uh, the best part about this is they actually pinned this tweet, but this is saying everything will be tokenized, the future of identity. And I do think when we're talking about identity, uh, I think everything will be tokenized. That's why even when you go to like the airport to, you know, take a flight or something, um, you know, passports and stuff like that. It's so, you know, I always wondered the question, for an example, like a social security card, right? When you go somewhere to like the DMV or something, initially you need to have your social security card. And... Carrying that piece of paper around with you might not seem like a big deal, but if you lose that and somebody gets it, uh, your identity is at a crisis. And I do think once digitization comes into this space with you know high security, of course, ABFT, I'm just going to throw that in there a little bit. Um, I think that that's when we see the idea of digitizing everything regarding identity as well. Your driver's license will be digitized, your social security card, everything will be digitized and protect it under this, uh, the highest grade security, which is ABFT currently. Now, I do love this. I'm going to be listening in on this as well. Uh, there's a lot of stuff regarding Wednesday. We have this and we also have that, you know, the B Ward uh, conference between Jack Dorsey and Elon Musk and all that stuff. So uh, a lot of things to look at or look forward to on Wednesday this week uh, or this month is just a big month overall and i'm not even joking about that i'm not trying to clickbait or anything like that but this month is pretty big for a lot of assets especially xrp and even crypto uh in general so now i do want to talk to you guys a little bit about this as well now i actually have um this open here as well now this says shout out to barbarian first off but 
We do see multi trillions of dollars worth of securities are traded annually. Now, LCX, collaborating with Hedera Hashgraph Token Service, have established the ground for issuance of tokenized securities utilizing the Hedera network. LCX will also list HBAR. Now, I just want to say I am late to this one. Um, I don't really record videos during the day. I, I typically kind of record them late at night or like early in the morning. Um, it's just because I have a lot going on and I'm very busy. Plus, my sleep schedule is garbage. Uh, I look forward to fixing that and getting these videos out as the news is getting released. But this is actually huge when we actually break it down. So let's go over to the article. Let me accept the cookies thing. So uh, initially, what do you see here? It's been a journey which started two years ago, of course. Now, if we come down here, this first off, excuse me, that coffee is hitting. But uh, we do see with this partnership, we are expanding the Leichtenstein, I hope that I said that right, uh, protocol for Hedera Network to establish a new standard for security tokens and tokenized digital assets. LCX will also add support for Hedera's native cryptocurrency HBAR on the LCX exchange. Now, I said that the LCX exchange isn't anything too big currently. I do think at some point in time, it's going to really allow LCX to grow. And that's actually what they're saying even here, right? The Hedera network will leverage the platform infrastructure of LCX to expand the Hedera token service HTS with the addition of a new security token standard and provi uh, provide secure, uh, reliable, transparent, and compliant infrastructure to digital securities to its users. Now. I do think LCX is one of those exchanges, for an example, even Coinbase, right? Coinbase initially, when Coinbase came out, it was nothing. So I do think that LCX is a small exchange, but soon I do think that it is going to grow massively in time. Now, uh, HTS will benefit from the Liechtenstein. Uh, again, if I'm saying that wrong, I, I do apologize. Protocol, which offers uh, compliance tokenization, on-chain asset management, on-chain identity, and provides organizations with the ability to a framework to build a new security token on the Hedera Public Ledger. With the ability to automatically enforce specific conditions that relate to legal and regulatory requirements applicable to securities and enables automated compliance of the tokenized asset with predefined uh, requirements built in the code. Isn't this funny that we were kind of talking about, you know, security tokens and, you know, security tokenization as well uh, coming into the space. And now we actually are seeing it come to fruition. And it is, <laughs> I can't believe that when I initially invested in HBAR, you know, I did my research. I, I have actually a whole notepad um, that I actually have on my side here that I'm, I don't have it open, but I did pages of notes on HBAR, um, breaking it down. That's pretty much how I do all my deep dives. I actually write a whole bunch of notes and I talk about what I wrote down and pretty much define everything. Now, when I originally did that, I was talking about securities and I was talking about how the security market is actually a huge aspect. And I do think that it will allow a lot of these companies to really onboard a lot more uh, projects and pretty much allow for a lot more revenue to flow in and flow out. I think securities is incredible. And we do see that it enables automated compliance of the tokenized asset as well. So this means that those security assets will be you know, regula regulated and also compliant overall. So this is great to see. Uh, this is actually a really breakthrough innovation if you think about it. And I do love to see this type of innovation happening with Hedera Hashgraph as well. And if you guys are an HBAR holder, uh, this is very bullish as well um, at the end of the day. Now, uh, we do see uh, down here, uh, ha Hedera Hashgraph is the most used sustainable enterprise grade public ledger. The Hedera network offers state governance with no forking. Of course, it's kind of breaking down overall what Hedera is. Um, but I want to talk to you guys more about the protocol. So uh, we do see that the protocol is a new digital security standard that enforces regulatory compliance at the chain and token level. Uh, being a blockchain agnostic protocol, it will be implemented on a variety of public chains. The blockchain agnostic standard aims to create a secure tokenized framework that will truly drive the growth and proliferation of asset tokenization. So this is great to really see. I didn't read the white paper yet, um, but if you guys you know, once you guys definitely do that. But this is great to see. I mean, this is 
uh, just an awesome innovation if you think about it because secure tokenized frameworks and tokenization of securities uh, I do think will drive the success of a lot of assets in the space. Uh, we already seen that with XRP. XRP is trying to get into the securities aspect where they want to onboard securities through the XRP ledger as well. Um, so I do think that this is great. Now, I really want to see some more um, kind of breakdowns of the overall aspect of when, when this could actually come to fruition. I, I want to see that. I mean, obviously, they'll probably build it or they're, they're probably building it right now. But this is great to see nonetheless we do see it has been a wonderful to see a wide array of innovation applications in the hedera ecosystem uh, lcx is leading the way in creating blockchain agnostic standards for exciting area of digital securities and by leveraging hedera's unique properties of speed security and fairness with a low carbon footprint which will accelerate the adoption of this emerging market so yeah i, I do think that lcx at some point in time will definitely grow and it will basically become one of those one of the most used um exchanges in the space at some point in time now we are do we are we do see sorry hts combined with lcx compliant token sale manager offers a faster more efficient alternative to smart contract token creation well, isn't that funny it's almost like it's almost like hbar or hedera at this point is making <laughs> I, d I don't want to say but it's al almost like it's making ada obsolete at this point and i know a lot of people will get mad at that but hey it is what it is now I'm very excited for this. Um, you know, I, I think when we go back to um, Barbarian's tweet, yeah, I mean, this is multi trillions of dollars worth of securities uh, that are traded annually that could potentially be moving over the LCX exchange utilizing Hedera. This is ramping up TPS as well. Uh, this will help TPS. And uh, I do think that it's only a matter of time before we even see, you know, I, I, these top assets here. Some of them just don't belong. Dogecoin does not belong up here. Uh, so I do think it's only a matter of time before we do see HBAR in the top five. Definitely top 10. I, I definitely think it's a top 10 asset, uh, 100%. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. I know that this was a little bit of a longer video and it wasn't more so focused on as much substance, but this actually is a huge breakthrough uh, in innovation for HBAR as well as LCX. So I, I did want to do a little bit of a deeper dive in on it. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys do want more free content, you guys can follow me on Twitter at InCashOfficial. You guys can also join the Discord down in the description below. I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out.